Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we are looking at our boy. This is a teen Gotenks, sort of like an adultish version of Gotenks. Um, this is actually a free-to-play unit. Now, it is a mystery to me why the Tiencha, the Tien and Yamcha fusion, was never given out on Global Dokkan, especially because it's like just a Dragon Ball fusion um, login bonus. Well, this guy also has never come to Global Dokkan. This guy was a login bonus just for when Dragon Ball Heroes uh, first got cards in Dokkan. I believe there was two separate instances where they gave out this sort of teen Gotenks. This is a character that I could see them, you know, bring back at some point in the future. I don't think it's even possible to rainbow him in-game uh, currently, because uh, I think they've only given out two copies of him. Um, but, you know, in the future, they might, you know, again, make him, like, you know, newly obtainable, give him a Dokkan Awakening or something like that, right? Um, it's very, very possible. He is on, like, a couple of teams where he could help. His Link set's not the worst, right? I mean, he's on Fusion, Hybrid Saiyan, Kamehameha, Dragon Ball Heroes, and Crossover, right? And um, this is exactly the type of character that I would like to see become very, very good. Uh, especially because, like, again, some of these teams are pretty limited. Obviously not, like, the Hybrid Saiyan team, but, you know, like, the, the Fusion team, Dragon Ball Heroes crossover. These are not, like, teams that have, like, just, like, hundreds and hundreds of units to work with currently in-game, right? Um, if we take a look at what he does, he only does Extreme and just two key and 5,000 attack when HP is 50% or above. Again, this is a free-to-play unit that was given out when Dragon Ball Heroes was first introduced into the game. So we definitely cannot expect a lot from this guy. Although, again, his Link set is not bad. He's got some pretty solid links here. So looking at it in-game, he's got Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Fuse Fighter, Kamehameha, and then Cold Judgment. I mean, Saiyan Lineage, Cold Judgment, Kamehameha, like, he, he's got some good stuff right here. Then, obviously, with Tech Ultimate Gohan, we have Saiyan Lineage and Cold Judgment active. Uh, defense, oh, defense, yeah, what are his stats? Very low attack. It's very uncommon for even free-to-play units to be under 10,000 attack. That is, again, very uncommon for rainbowed units to be under 10k attack even if they're free to play. So his attack is very low and 6,000 defense uh, is also very low. So this uh, base form team Gotenks uh, is not exactly what I would consider impressive here. Uh, he's kind of looking pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, his passive is active. Um, the 250k attack stat, not what I would consider uh, goaded. <laughs> Uh, even back in 2016, this is pretty bad, right? Because, like, we've looked at a lot of the Arale collab units and even, like, the free-to-play versions of them where we're hitting a little bit harder than this, right? Uh, this Gotenks, whew. I mean, Cold Judgment is a defensive link. You know, if we get Saiyan Warrior Race, Kamehameha, you know, links like that active, sure, he's going to look a little bit better, but uh, yikes. Um, okay, I, I guess we'll just, we'll, for now, we'll float off the Trunks. Uh, again, that that Trunks, the Hybrid Saiyan support Trunks, is just going to be a, a god amongst mortals. Uh, that Hybrid Saiyan Trunks is really, really uh, a strong boy, right? Uh, absolutely love uh, that Hybrid Saiyan Trunks with the stacking uh, defense. Now he has two different amazing LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohans to work alongside. He's going to link up really well with, so that's going to be good um, for that Trunks and, you know, any of those LR Gohans, right? And then remember, this Trunks is, of course, stacking defense um, once you have uh, one of those, like, Super Saiyan 2 Gohans next to him, right? So that definitely is going to be uh, very, very solid. So, all right, let's let's uh, let's see what we get right here. Um, so we have Gotenks with the sort of, like, adult uh, or teen Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Uh, it's going to give us a few links activated now. So no support, but we do have a, a fair amount of his links active. We have everything active except for Saiyan Warrior Race. So we got Saiyan Lineage, Fuse Fighter, Kamehameha, and Cold Judgment all activated, um, I guess. <clears throat> Let's just go ahead and see what our boy Gotenks is going to put up for us. Uh, will he put up good numbers? Uh, probably not. Probably the answer is going to be uh, no. Uh, hell no. <laughs> but uh, we shall see, right? Go ahead, Gotenks. Give us a, a, a little something good, right? Give us one of these solid... Ooh, 
295. Dude, relax. You don't have to take down Goku's health all by yourself. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, oh, brutal, 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 brutal. Uh, the, the sort of teen Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, by the way, I would love to see him get an EZA when Dragon Ball Heroes... I, I presume we're going to see more Dragon Ball Heroes content on Dokkan in November. Oh my goodness, would I love to see some of these units start to EZA, man. Like, you know, the, if we got like a massive... Remember the, the EZA for all the units that awakened with Battlefield uh, medals and how good that was? We could easily see something like uh, similar with some of the OG sort of like Dragon Ball Hero units. Like, what if like Super Saiyan 3 Trunks... Uh, Super Saiyan 3 Team Gotenks and Super Saiyan 3 Gohan all easy. Like, that would be disgusting, right? Alright, so now we have only Saiyan Lineage and Cold Judgment active. Um, we have Cold Judgment with Trunks, but Saiyan Lineage is only coming from Tech Ultimate Gohan. Uh, what are we looking at in terms of our stats? Still under 50k defense. Not exactly the most impressive, but at least we are going to be getting support this time. So, all right, let's go ahead and see uh, what damage numbers, defensive numbers, and stuff like that uh, we are going to get by our boy Gotenks. Again, I don't... Not really expecting anything too high, but, uh, I mean, maybe he could look uh, okay. I guess. I mean, maybe. <laughs> you know, can we... Can we break a 500k attack stat in the video, Gotenks? Is that okay? Oh, 350! God damn, boy! <laughs> now, remember, I say it oftentimes. So, you know, Gotenks with a 350k attack stat, um, I consider 2 million to be sort of like, like average, bare minimum. <laughs> Gotenks doing uh, 350k. Uh, not exactly what I would consider, um, looking really good. I'm gonna pop a healing item right here because, again, if we fall under 50% HP going into that next turn, uh, Gotenks is literally not even gonna have a passive active. Uh, and, you know, he's, considering he's already at, in, like, the 200k, 300k range, I don't really want to see him go below that. Um, I, you know, I would, we'd like to get numbers higher. Uh, I've got B-Pan here. We'll, we'll pop her active skill, but, uh... Don't expect Gotenks' damage to be super crazy impressive, uh, even with uh, our girl B-Pan's active skill popping. Um, all right, so what do we got with this Gohan? Saiyan Lineage and Cold Judgment. Um, and then, of course, we'll go ahead and float off the 40% Trunks. This might be Gotenks' best turn right here. Um, so he's at 66k defense. Uh, let's... What did Gohan's defense jump up to? 200k, okay, okay. Yeah, the level 10... Um, Link 50% uh, uh, supports definitely can look pretty good. Um, all right, so go tanks. What are you gonna give for us, my boy? Uh, can can we break a 500k attack set right here? I don't think so. I mean, we had like Kamehameha and Saint Warrior Race active and stuff like that, maybe. But I mean, I don't know. I I don't know if just the 90% support is gonna be enough to get him to 500k. Yeah, 465k. Um, I love how Gotenks, like, his, it's the burning Kamehameha, but uh, the only thing it's doing is uh, leaving with a burning desire to never use him again. <laughs> Poor Gotenks. Oh, no. Oh, my boy. Yeah, not, uh, not quite the most impressive, uh, <laughs> not, not quite the most impressive showing by a unit I've ever seen, but, I mean, what... <laughs> He is literally just a login gift from five years ago. So, how tough on him can I actually be, right? Like, you know, maybe if he was a free-to-play unit from, like, last year or something like that. But, yeah, again, it, it's not even a character you grind for. He's just literally one of these, like, you log in, you got him type characters. So, um, I guess uh, not really too surprising he's not the craziest. All right, so we'll get this next turn. Um, we'll go ahead and pop LRB Pan's active skill for our boy uh, Team Gotenks. And then uh, we probably will be finishing it out right there. Uh, I don't know that we really need to look at our boy too much. Um, I feel like he's probably uh, underwhelmed us all enough already to this point. <laughs> I like what? 
what 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 else is he possibly gonna show us? A, a 200k attack stat? A 100k attack stat? <laughs> All right. Um. But again, you know who knows? Maybe in the future they give him a Dokkan Awakening and he's freaking disgusting, right? I mean, they'd have to give him an awful lot, but uh, you know, I guess crazier things have happened. Um, so we still just have Saiyan Lineage and Cold Judgment active. Uh, we do have Saiyan Lineage with uh, B Pan as well. Um, all right, so we'll go ahead and let this turn play out, um, and then we'll finish up. So let me know what you guys think of our boy uh, Teen Base Form Gotenks. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this series I'm doing of, uh, you know, sort of these unobtainable units at Link Level 10. Uh, again, a lot of them not exactly what I would consider like ultra impressive units but most of these guys we're taking a look at are years and years and years old right none of them are like recent whatsoever so I mean you know there, there's only so much um, we can expect to see from a lot of these like mega OG characters right just a shade under 500k for our boy Gotenks so there we go let me know what you guys think Thanks for watching. Catch y'all next time.